So Josh and I were talking yesterday about how the catamaran seemed to be moving around a lot more in the sea than a monohull would in similar conditions. And we feel that probably monoholes are able to better cut through the waves and the catamaran seems to kind of ride on top and bump all over the place. Which is fine, it's not uncomfortable, it's just a difference. Something I don't think I was expecting. This morning I noticed that overnight at our anchorage the wind had picked up quite a bit. The conditions right now, if we're in our monohull, we would be bouncing all over the place. We actually did a video of a weekend where we woke up to heavy wind weather and we, yeah, we were bouncing a lot, so we decided to just leave. Anyway, this is not that dissimilar to that situation. We've got similar little choppy waves and the catamaran is barely moving. It's super comfortable to be sitting in here. You'd never know that the wind was high. So that seems to be a distinct advantage when, when we're not moving. Catamaran seems a lot more comfortable. On our last day for this trip to Florida, we continued up the ICW from Sarasota Bay to Cortez. Cortez is where we're having the boat hauled out for some work over the winter. There's a few sad looking boats around here. And the saddest of them all can barely be seen. The very last stretch from the temporary anchorage to the boatyard was really stressful. The channel is really poorly marked and we actually ran aground several times. So we did actually make it in one piece. Had a very nice lady called Jay come and help us. We would have been pretty screwed without her. This is our dockage. Travel lift up there, take us out. Really tight squeeze. We came in with fenders and boards on. Had to take them all off. Lots of back and forth. Yeah, that's a pretty tight squeeze. Not ideal. We are making some impromptu fenders out of this shitty old carpet that Kate does not want to keep. Because we have literally about two inches around the boat here at the uh, travel lift at this marina. Which are of course made out of concrete, which means they're going to grind the rub rail to oblivion they actually take it out of the water. So, sacrificial carpet. Carpet fenders. What's her name? Roxy. Roxy. Hi Roxy. You good girl. Pretty small yard. Josh just said he hopes there's space somewhere for our boat. We'll see I guess. In the afternoon, Rian from Mondo Marine Services came by to give us some quotes on some things that need fixing, including the fridge door which is completely off its hinges now and we think will probably need to be replaced entirely and also the outboard that we've been having problems with. Yeah, so it's not running, 
I don't know when the last time he actually had this engine taken care of anyway. So like probably sort of the whole tune up when we two stroke. thing. It's a two stroke. Okay. The, uh, this is broken off or not connected, so uh, okay. that needs to be reconnected. Okay. Uh, when we fired up the first time, it ran pretty well for two minutes. And, you know, so it works, at least. So there was water coming through. Yeah, initially. Yeah, I'm going to put it down to the water pump. What we'll do is we'll change the oil. I mean, you know, we'll take a look at the water pump and spark plugs and the general things cool. like that. OK. So we're uh, off to find something to eat in this little town. We're in Cortez right now. Just walking away from the marina. What she said. <laughs> it's getting dark out. Tons of bugs right now, just bugging me. It bites all over me. I just sprayed myself down with off. It's one of the nice things about anchoring, you don't get nearly as many bugs as you do on shore. Oh well. Just one night here, then we're up at 4 a.m. to get our flight. Let's see what we find for dinner. Hopefully some nice seafood. It's like an old boat graveyard on the side of the road here. Or maybe they're just hanging out for the season. Who knows? I don't think so. <laughs> they're looking pretty sad. It's kind of cool though, just walking down the road and see a load of boats and palm trees. So we're going to have a little talk through, but it's really noisy here and I know how you guys like your nice sound, so we're going to um, abort that operation and have a little chat after we've had dinner. But we've saw some seafood dinner, so it's nice to have a fish sandwich and um, Josh is getting a black grouper dinner. A cute little place, got lots of noise though, road noise, loud music, Seahawks playing, so Josh is completely distracted. Go Hawks! Go Hawks! And um, yeah, so we'll check in later. See you after dinner. Just weird. <laughs> Josh, what's going on? Why are we outside? Because the weird. <laughs> um, yeah, we just, we're just watching uh, some YouTube videos because we like to watch them too. We're watching the winds. Hi, if you ever see us winds, we're watching you crossing to the Bahamas. Um, and we heard slash felt a big thunk. And at low tide, this well where we're going to get hauled out gets pretty shallow. So I think I was really worried that we'd come ground. Um, but Josh thinks we're fine, so hopefully we're fine. Who knows?